<laughs> yes, indeed. Good evening, one. Good evening, all. Thank you for joining us for our second hour of your one day special. The first hour was extremely busy, and now we've got new people watching as well. Um, this is your second hour. Where was you for the first hour? It's a double launch. Catherine's here at very yes. own. Yes, I'm here with my very dirty hands. Very dirty hands. Very that was dirty the first hands. Hour. You missed an awful lot in the first <laughs> hour. Uh, popular across the board. Um, let's get it out there first of all. Once what you see, you've seen, you've bought, it goes, it won't be back. Nothing is coming back. So that's from Viva Decor, and that's also for your MDF as well. Uh, it's everything is dispatched from the 6th um, of January. Everything character crashes from the 6th of January. Uh, Viva Decor is slightly later, is the 15th of January. Right then, let's get straight into there. Character crafts, Catherine. Yes. It's your, it's your little baby. Car it, it is. Um, yeah, actually, Character Crafts started as a shop many years ago. Really? It was nothing to do with MDF. And yeah, uh, the designer of the MDF came, actually, it arrived here at a chander, really. Oh. I brought it to a chander. And it's, I've been here nearly three years now, would you believe? Uh, so, yes, we've seen different elements here within the one day special. And I purposely kept this so that you could break this kit down. It, is, it was intended originally that there was four separate kits here, okay. with multiple pieces in each kit, which will make much more sense when you see finished samples as we work our way through. But because you've got 52 different elements in there, you can break it down completely and use them in any way that you want at all. So, That's good value you know, it's there. entirely up to you whether you want to use them as card toppers, whether you want to use them in picture frames, on scrapbooks, on journals, um, on the plaques that are provided. We've even got a piece picket fence in there. It's entirely up to you. So there is value for money here. And I did say in the earlier hour, if you want to make to sell, you can do. You can make these and you would easily get your money back and make money on it. Yeah, I think you would. And it's, uh, that only just dawned on me towards the end of the last hour. If you think £24.96 is what you're paying for your one-day special, so that's everything that you see here. But if you made, say, 50 key rings out of it, yeah, that's £50 you've it already is. made on top. And then you could go even more. You could really stretch this out as well. Four main projects is what you've got in here. But as Catherine said, you can really split this up. Uh, you get the plaques in there as well. If you wanted to do like a three drop down plaque, you get your picket fence, you get your little plaques in there, but you get all your little embellishments. Your uh, owls are in there as well. And once they're painted up, they are absolutely stunning. <laughs> And that was the little owl that we painted in the first hour. Uh, now, <laughs> look at me. You've got to stay tuned to see how dirty my hands can get. <laughs> I love getting messy. Uh, now, the, the owls, when I made the, the kit with the owls, it, it was intended to go with the hearts that are here and the other two owls as well. So you could have them all hanging together, sort of large down to small or small down to large, and you can personalize the plaques. Baby room, a welcome to my home. It could yeah. be anything. Uh, but of course, as you can see there, you could easily just take one of the owls, one of the plaques. I mean, as you said earlier, Adam, for a new baby, that, that would amazing. be lovely. And if you don't, if you want to hide the holes, you easily could do a little flower or a little bow on the top there, or just fill the holes in. They, oh, they're yeah. there because you can string them together. But then you could put like a, you could put a little name here if you wanted to. You can to. personalize You could use one of the them, hearts yes. that's already in the kit. The possibilities are endless. We tried to name just a few of the possibilities in the earlier hour, um, but we could go on and on and on and on and on because you really can do as much or as little as this as you wanted to. Also, all your mediums go on this as well. So don't be. It's one of them things you think of MDF and you think I haven't got the right stuff. Yeah. But you don't need it. Anything will go on to it. Anything will go on to it. Absolutely anything. So, uh, well, I'm saying absolutely everything. There might be one or two things that won't work, but try it. That's the nice thing about MDF. Just try it. Remember, it's a, a porous surface. The paints I use, I don't usually gesso. I just go straight on with the paints if you've got a good quality paint, but you can gesso on top. You can go with the texture paste. You can go with the mediums that we've got on today, Viva Decor. All of the mediums we've got today will work. The paints, the Inca Gold, the Rusty, the Patina Wax, the paints, the, the, the acrylic paints yeah. we've got on there as well. And all those will work in conjunction with each other as well, so you can create some beautiful effects. So it is well worth shopping ahead as well. The Viva Decor products, once again, will all work with your MDF and they are extremely busy. 24 pounds and 96 pence, 822378 is your item number. Let's go steampunk now is what we're going with the beautiful steampunk butterfly, uh, the locket that's in there as well, and all the cogs, and also these sort of beautiful frame as it were yes now that frame you could have it any way you wanted I 
purposely didn't put any holes in that because it works in any direction and depending on what you want to do with it you can decide you may not want holes in it but you can easily drill through yeah. MDF as well so if you want to hang it up you can do but they are interlocking you've got the back and you've got the front as well you can separate them if you wanted to just use the circles maybe on a canvas or something like that you could certainly do that but put together you know build up a scene in there whether you want to go totally steampunk or whether you want to go cutesy that's entirely up to you so it's another kit that you can completely break down definitely going to do, be doing something with this in the Viva Decor products uh, at some point during the shows this would work perfectly if you are shopping ahead um, for your steampunk and the rust that we've got yes, on the show as yeah. well that rust there's two types of rust yeah. you can go for they would work hand in hand with this collection that we've got 954282 is your item number 12 pounds and 99 pence look at the price and look at what you're getting the prices really don't match up for the amount of mdf you're getting uh, shadow boxes up next and a home plaque as well um once again, you're getting two shadow boxes. You are. Shall I just grab the one that was gluing? On, I'm just going to With the plaque that. as well, I don't think about it long ways because your holes are down this side here. So really, this should be the other way around. So if, uh, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So you could do it this way with your home running down the centre. Yes. I think that'd be amazing. And maybe you could attach the owls from your one day special. You could attach anything to it. And also, again, the steampunk, the cogs on there would look really good as yes, well. Yes, it would. You know, or again, use the home as a, a completely different project and use the plaque for something else. It's entirely up to you. you. There is, as you said, Adam, there's a lot of MDF here. There's a lot of options. Really? The shadow boxes themselves are both 8x8. Eight eight. Wow. And when I did sit that together in the other show, just to show how easy they, are, they do go together, we said, do you know, that could be a platform. It doesn't have yeah. to be a box. You could build something on the top of that, make a little scene on there. But as a shadow box, of course, you can put anything you want inside. It's crying out for all those mediums. You know, the rusty effect, the paints, yeah. the... Uh, Inca gold, uh, maybe the crystal gel could go in there as well. We're going to find all sorts of things to work in these. As we go through the shows, I do urge you to stay with us because it was very difficult to get finished samples done for this because the product, the Viva Decor product, didn't arrive until only a few days ago. And I've been presenting and guesting, uh, so it's difficult to get the finished samples done. But let's see what, what we end up what with, we end end up with as we go through the shows because we've got so many products to play with. That's if it lasts until the end of tomorrow because once <laughs> I said once it's gone, it has gone. Also, I'm thinking about the shadow boxes as well. You could use them for storage. You Turn could. Turn down and put yeah. all your little micas in there if you wanted. Yes, use you pen could storage if you wanted to as well. Remember, you are getting two of them as well, which, was, which I think is amazing. And you're also getting that home plaque as well. Uh, you get an awful lot of your money. Once again, £12.99. 383095 is your item number. Uh, Woodland Animals next. These are so cute. Uh, so, so cute. And you get, I've only just noticed as well, you get the deers that face both ways. You do. And uh, one that faces one way is slightly bigger than the other one. So you've got two different sizes in there. There's not a great deal of difference in them, but there are. There is a difference there. They are really cute. We'll definitely get one of these painted up at some point. Right. These are beautiful. Then you also get your two foxes in there as well. You get your two owls and you also get the four tags. Now with the four tags, there are two different sizes. You've got the large and also the medium. And then also you get your love hearts in there as well. All these for nine pounds and 99 pence. So maybe you've already got your MDF and you just want to em embellish even more. This would be a perfect way to embellish or home decor as well if you're doing children's bedrooms. This would be yeah, a perfect way would. to get them involved it as well. Would. Get them colouring in. What a perfect way to get your children involved from colouring those little foxes, the colouring the owls that you've got there. A pair of googly eyes on them owls and you're away, I'm know, feeling. I was going to say that. I'm glad you picked up on that because you've seen one sort of owl with the eyes closed, yeah, which is a very cutesy owl. This one, although it's quite whimsical, it's crying out for real eyes in there. And when it's painted up just with paint, it looks completely different to as you've seen it there. But putting those googly eyes on there really does make them look really quite... Can you imagine that? Yes. Just imagine them as little key rings. Yeah. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve key rings in there. And Definitely. I'm not I've not even used the deers. I've left the deers that are there for another project I'm gonna do. <laughs> so that's twelve key rings, a pound each, twelve pounds I've made. I've only spent nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. 
Remember, you can buy to sell for these as well. 072755 is your item number. Uh, something else has been very popular during the early hours was your stencils as well. Once again, yes. hand in hand. With the, yes, yes. I, I think these are beautiful. Actually, you've got kind of the whimsical style with the characters there, the woodland characters. Uh, you can see now where I went kind of down a woodland theme yeah. because we've got the characters in the stencils here. But that tree, I think, is absolutely beautiful. Nice. And whether you use the whole thing or whether you use just part of it, I think that is really, really nice. I'm going to see actually if I can find a piece of glass or acrylic uh, or maybe a mirror as you suggested that we could apply that to because I think it would look amazing. Because they're quite in at the moment to where you have a big old mirror then you have it slap mm. bang, it's not, not that you can use the mirror because you can't see for love and money but you have it slap bang in the <laughs> centre of yes, the mirror yeah. and it, it is beautiful yeah. what you can it's create. Really, really it is a lovely lovely stencil and they're a really nice quality stencil these as well. Really nice. Oops. 20% of this stock has already gone at nine pounds and 98 pence. Three, eight, nine, <laughs> one. You see, three, if I touch five. something, it just falls apart. 389136 <laughs> is your item number. Jump on board, jump to the website. Everything is on the website for you. Uh, shop ahead on the web. You've got the amazing stamps as well. Individually, six pounds and 95 pence, but they do come as a pack for nine pounds and 90 pence. Uh, they are beautiful. They've what? They are very close. To, they're very close to selling out individually. So I would jump on board if I was you and start picking things up, pop them in your baskets, and start checking out. We feel this is going to be a very busy hour. Right then, where are okay. we? Where are we? Where are we setting up? Right off? now, if you didn't catch the early launch, yes. if you just joined us, you won't have seen what I did with this jar. So we started off with a little, uh, a little, a very inexpensive glass jar. I think these cost me about 30 pence each. Can't even remember where I got them from now, but they weren't expensive. And we've got two types of crystal gel on today. We've got a transparent one and we've also got the one with the holographic glitter in it as yep. well. So. Open. That was close. Uh, transparent, 40% of the stock has already gone. That's not what they gave me. They gave me. Oh, hang on. I've got, clear, I've got clear coat. And that one. And I've got crystal crystal gel. Uh, which one did you use? Right, well, on the one that I've got prepped, I've just realised that when I looked at that, I thought, that's not what they sent me. This one here is a crystal. See, the awkward thing is, Adam, on mine, although there is a difference, one's got glitter and one hasn't. Oh, I've not, I've not got They the both look the same then. on the, uh, they do look on both the outside. The same. It dries transparent, but it looks white in the pot. That's the problem. So I've got crystal, crystal so gel. Yes. I've got here. So if they're both, both called crystal, crystal gel, gel, what's that one called that you've got? That's, That's not different. it. Right, so I've got the right ones then. Phew. Ooh. Phew. It looks like I've got the right ones and it's the wrong one on the counter. So they do look the same apart from when you look under underneath, you can see the holographic glitter in one of them. Really, really good size pots. Right, I'm so glad we cleared that up. Let's clear what this is though, while we're here. Okay. I always wondered what it was. They come in a bundle, you get two of them together, little, little, little pot in a big pot. Yes, that's your clear coat, so you can protect your surfaces and it dries clear. Oh, and then you've got your matte and your gloss yes. as well. Matte gloss. Yep. You're in brass. <laughs> Macro. Which is also very, very useful because, and I, I tend to like matte finishes more than more often than not, but there are times where I pick out the glossy bits as well. Mm. But some people like things to look glossy, so any sort of lacquer that you're putting over your paint or your MDF is going to protect it and seal it as well. Anyway, now we've cleared it now up. I'm there. so pleased, I'm sorry, because I love this. This is, our, this is the transparent one. Okay, so in the pot, it does look white. Okay, now I've applied some onto one of the clear jars in the earlier hour, so I'm going to put a second coat on because we've gone with the holographic in the demonstration. Now, although this is decorated with a little bit of a Christmas flower, you could decorate absolutely anything. Put tea lights in there, some little electric lights in there. These are so effective, really, really nice. And it works brilliantly through those stencils. Really, oh, okay. really nice through those stencils. So- I found the right ones now. Perfect. We didn't, we didn't have them on the counter. Phew. Oh, I've got two ones. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Now, in the earlier hour, this is an ongoing uh, demonstration. I used the holographic one, so the one with the built-in glitter. 
and uh, just make sure I get the right sponge here. Do you know, I'm going to go and wash these out in the break so I can go with whatever. I've forgotten which is which, never mind. So, I hope this is the right one. It's not quite dry. I did say don't force dry it. Uh, this is better if you let it dry on its okay. own. Don't force dry it. But it's almost there. So you can see, it will go a little bit more transparent, but you can see that glitter starting to come yeah, out. Yeah, look at that. So if you want a very delicate effect, then great. But once it's dried, if you want to build up the effect a little bit more, so then just, just go the over the top again. Yeah. So we're going to do all sorts with this jar eventually. It's kind of ongoing projects right through the show, so uh, do stay with me and see how things turn out because I've absolutely no idea <laughs> if it's going to work. <laughs> well, that's the best way, because that's what you do when you no, get them are, home as well. You these sit are and fabulous watch products, on actually. And you think, well, what, what, what will I use them for? So that's what we're going to try now. If there's a technique that you want to see um, Catherine do during the live hours, or let us know and we'll give it a go live on air. If it's that thing that, that you think, I'd love to know if, maybe you're sitting on the fence and you don't know, you don't know whether you're going for it or not. Let us know and we'll try it here first for you. Okay, so you can see I love these sponges. These are just the very inexpensive sponges that you get for uh, your kitchen. It's got a scourer on one side, which is quite good if you're using gilding flakes as well. Uh, but the sponge, because I'm stippling that, you get that very sort of frosty effect. If you go with a brush, it doesn't look the same. You can go with a brush, you get brush you'll get a different effect. Yeah. You will get brush marks, although when it dries clear, you won't notice them the same. But I just think for the effect, it works far better just to stipple that on. So that's two coats on there. Now you can see that needs to dry off. So I'm gonna pop that to one side again and we'll look at that again a little bit later on and see how it's getting on. Okay, okay that's just, this is gonna last such a long time. It really will. It really is. Right, Half now. the stock of the transparent now has already gone. As we're very busy across the board. And once again, once it's gone, it is gone. It won't be coming back. Now, in the earlier hour, we were also working with a glass bottle. And this was, in fact, I've got another one of these. If I show you how it started off. Oh. <laughs> I honestly don't br drink a lot of brandy. I've been saving these for many, yeah, many months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what day are we on today? <laughs> Tuesday? <laughs> I'll tell you a story though, I had a whole cupboard full of glass bottles that I'd saved and some of them had been in their ages and Glenn Chicken. went to my house and I had a bit of a clear out and they all disappeared. Oh, so I've got no. to, I've got to sell, I, I save jars all the time, jars and bottles. So you can see how that started off as a clear bottle. I might put some of that crystal gel on there later. Uh, now I've just gone with yeah. some chalk paint on this one and I've, I used white oh. to start with, which I did put on with a paintbrush. Okay. So it was a very sort of messy, wishy-washy sort of effect, but it was just an undercut. Then I stippled with one of the sponges over the top with some blue and green. And then uh, I've used some sandpaper to sand away where the ridges are and the detail on the bottle. So you've got that little bit of transparency. It's also bringing through some of the white from underneath. This area here, that was just, they were just from uh, some moulds. I'd been making something a long time ago and I got spare bits in a box and I thought, they might look quite nice. So then I've used, just to explain, if you didn't see the earlier hour, some of the colours from the Viva Decor, yep, the acrylic. Six of these colours. Yep. It's a lovely set, actually. Um, you've got blues in there, greens. You've got some naturals in there, the blues and greens in there as well, which are fantastic. You get an awful lot in each bottle as well. You do. You are getting 82 mils of acrylic paint, and you are getting the complete set as well, uh, all for £14.95. 719060 is your item number. Uh, it's not a pick and mix. You get all six of these. All six is what you're getting as well. And um, I like it why you always get the white as well, so if you want to tone anything down, you also get the white in there, which you don't normally get. You normally just get yep. vib six vibrant colours and you have to provide your own white. In fact, I've white. got a very small amount of white on this sponge. And rather than dry brushing, there's very little on there. I'm just going over. Can you see how it picks out the detail there as well? And if you wanted to go a little bit more on the bottle, you can. So, you know, experiment with the paints. Just use them um, and, and try building up the colours, build up the layers. If there's something you don't like, you can just go over it again. So that's, that's really starting to come, come to uh, fruition now, I think. But there's much more we can do with it because we have got Rusty to work with. We've yeah. also got the patina waxes as well. So I thought I'm going to give the patina waxes a go. And because I haven't done this prior to uh, the show on this particular bottle, I'm going to do it on the back. 
just so we can I'm not going to touch that because it's different effects so we're going to do the front in one style and the back in another just to show the different techniques now the patina wax doesn't look like wax it looks like a gel well that's what I thought when they said wax it doesn't look like the wax that we all know and love no and you might think well that's a funny colour for a wax but let's have a little look because I've got some on a sponge here the wax is on a pick and mix you can pick any two of the waxes there's three to choose from uh, here they all are Oh, I wonder if our lovely floor manager can get me a nice soft cloth. Oh, Mal, is that a nice, nice soft cloth, Mal? Right, There's okay. A beautiful scarf on someone's chair at the back. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've added a little bit of the red there. And you can see it doesn't look bright red now, does it? It looks quite brown. Now, I'm just going to wipe that off again now, just so it gives a little bit of staining. Okay, but you can see a difference oh in the colour. So it's giving a different effect. I'm actually going to go with all of the colours here just to see what sort of effects we get. I mean, you don't have to do that, obviously. You can just go with one colour, but oh, that blue. That blue works well. That it blue looks works quite a well. vibrant blue in the part, but when you put it on. Yeah. It's quite, I don't know how to describe this actually. It's, it's unusual. It's, n it's not like any other wax, but you will get a sheen from this. And what I did notice when I used it the first time was it felt slightly Look sticky, slightly sticky when, when it was drying and then it dries off and then you can buff it up. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more. Now this colour, I think this one's going to be effective. So let's just add a little bit of this one as well. Okay. Now you can start to see the sheen coming through there actually, you can see a bit of a shine going on. And just wipe that away. So you can see it's very, very delicate in colour. So although you've got that really vivid colour, bright colour in the pot, that's not what you're getting as an overall result. Let's just go and blend these together a little bit now and see what we get if we mix them up. You asked for a soft cloth, they give you microfiber cloth. Oh, that'll be brilliant. You get a full, this is... <laughs> This is like luxury to get a <laughs> microfiber, one this size. <laughs> the amount of microfibers I go through at these, look at you, you asked for one. Well, <laughs> well, I never. Where's that been hiding, I wonder? I don't know, but if I knew where it was, I'd go and get myself one. <laughs> well, we, we apparently have loads. Do we? We won't after this show. No, we won't. I'll go in the booth <laughs> of my car. <laughs> Right, so you can see, even with that red there, look very, very subtle. So I'm just going to just blend that over again and wipe some of that off. You could let it dry on more if you wanted to, but I, do, I don't want it to be sort of in your face. I want it to be a nice, subtle effect. So just wipe it off. And it's kind of aged that a little bit. Look I want to make that. sure that's drying, drying give it and a little bit. And also, as you said, that sheen as well. It gives you a beautiful sheen to your it bottom. It does. And then you can just, if you want any more, just go in. Details on the screen, remember you pick three, uh, you pick any two. There's three colours to choose, any two out of three. Uh, nine pounds and 80 pence, 487693 is your item number. If you had to go for two of the same colour, Catherine, what two would you go for so you could get all three? Um, oh, this is a hard one because I would have said at the beginning the red was my least favourite, but actually I think it would be the one I, I did definitely put, put nice. in there because it makes a big difference. It depends what your projects are. I like them all. I would be happy with any of them. Now, that's a little bit tacky. I can feel that stickiness there. So if I rub that now, it's just going to stick to the fibres. So I'm going to leave that to one side for a minute and we'll work on the other side we'll come back to that and we'll give that a, a nice buff up in a little while but on the front so we've got a comp if I, we show the front look that's prior to the patina oh, yeah, that's with that. the patina on but we haven't buffed it remember so you can see a definite difference although it's subtle there's a definite difference but what if we wanted some rust <gasps> oh, i was going to say can we do the rust now i love this shall we rust? do some rust this rust is amazing. Uh, we'll bring the details on the screen for the rust itself. Uh, you're getting two parts of the rust. You're getting rust and rust orange is what you're getting. Um, you can sort of see the colour differences. You also want to come with stickers on the bottom. Uh, but you can sort of see the difference that you're getting there. £15.90 is what you're paying for these. 901600 is your item number. Right, now I'm going to start with, I was going to use the dark blue straight from the, the set there, but actually I've got some black 
chalk painting because I know it's going to dry very quickly. So I'm going to start with this. So I'm just going straight on to one of my MDF blacks. You could use gesso again here if you wanted. Is this one of the plaques from the one day special? It is, yes. So I want this to dry quickly and we'll build up. So let's just straight on. I'm not going to worry about doing um, two coats of this actually because this is just a, a base coat. Okay, so straight over the top. And I'm quite happy to force dry this with the heat gun because it's just chalk paint. Okay, so I'll just dry that off a little bit. While you dry that, uh, your one day special is very busy. The details are on the screen for your one day special. Uh, £24.96, uh, 822378 is your item number. You're getting so much for your money here. You're getting 52 pieces in total, four big projects you could say, or you could break it down and use it however you like. I can see those words, live, love, laugh, on the front of cards, if you're into your card making. If you're into your mixed media, bringing your mixed media in there as well. You got those stunning owls. So you do get those beautiful owls as well that you really can colour up. So the owls would go onto the hearts. So you'd have your large heart, then you'd have your owl hanging underneath, then you'd have your medium heart, then another owl, then a small heart, and so on and so on. There is so much you can do with your one day specials. These are, they are stunning. I can find, are you all right there? My glue's clogged up, hasn't it? Oh. Do you want me to try and declog? Oh, oh there, no, it there, goes. You go. there it goes. I decided, you see, let's put a few cogs on this as well while we're at it. Oh, we're going to let let's make go it with a, a few cogs. So I'm just going to, no paint on these yet, but I'm just adding a little bit of PVA. Let's so just. So the cogs are from your steampunk, is what we're going to bring out on the screen. So remember, you get all the cogs. You also get the, fa uh, the home plat. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, you also get the butterfly. <laughs> I knew it was one of them. <laughs> uh, you also get the butterflies in there, and it's all those beautiful circles as well. But I thought you could imagine turning into a clock with all the cogs around, like the inner workings of a clock, and have the main clock there as well. Uh, so you get all the, so you get all the cogs that's on there. You get the beautiful butterfly as well. Look at that beautiful look at that butterfly. And then you also get. You get the heart that's on there. I love the little heart. And I'm loving this. I could see this one. So this one is a clock, if you wanted to. And then uh, little photos in here as well. Absolutely beautiful. Details on the screen, £12.99. OK, now I'm using wet glue there, which obviously isn't dry, so I'm dragging those off. Now, because I've got some of that uh, Viva Decor paint still left from the earlier hour on the front there, although I've gone with black, I'm just using that up, which is that really dark blue. I've forgotten the name of it. What's the really and dark, the dark blue, blue called? dark blue is night blue. Night blue. It is very sort of nighttime, isn't it, that? Oh, could have nighttime owls. <gasps> Couldn't we? Steamboat right. nighttime owls. Yeah, now that really does need to dry a little bit more, but because that glue is too wet. Do you want me to come back? Shall I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll turn my hot glue gun on and stick it with that and dry that off so we're ready to go with All the, right, and I'll the come rest back. of the effects. Uh, we're going to look a little bit more Viva Decor. It's very, very busy for your Viva Decor as well. Uh, remember, you've also got your stamps there for your Viva Decor. Uh, you've also got your dies on the uh, stamps and there and, oh, I don't know. And you've also got your stamps and all your paints mediums is what the word I was looking for. Uh, stencils as well are on there. Stencils are very, very busy across the board. You've got your crystal gels on there, £9.50. Uh, it is one of the, it's, it is like a, a, a bargain show. There are so many bargains in this show. It's unbelievable of what you're actually getting for your money. So, your one day special. If you have just joined us, good evening. Um, we are in um, the halfway through, I think, halfway through our second live hour of your one day special launch show. And what a launch show it's been. There are so many things that mix and match together. Your one day special is extraordinary for the value for money that you're about to get, £24.96. You get so much in here. You get beautiful projects. So this is like one, just one project from the four. If you wanted to complete it as a whole, you can or you can use the different elements that are in there. 
Look at the beautiful flowers that you've got there. Maybe put them on the front of a card if you wanted to, with the tiny little plaque that's hanging on your front of the card as well. Maybe it's a card for him and you've got a beautiful picture of uh, a shed and you're gonna put these around that stamp that you've got. There's so many things you can do with MDF. You think, yeah, but I'm, I've never used it before. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Catherine said, you can use all your mediums with MDF as well. You can color straight onto it. You can use your paints that we've got on your show straight onto it as well. Remember you're getting six of those paints for that amazing value for money. The paste can go on there, the rusts can go on there. Everything can go on to your MDF, but you've got the projects already there. So when you get this home, you think, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know where to start. You've got a ready-made project. Just make one of the four projects. And then once you get those creative juices flowing, you'll really start seeing the elements in there. You've got those two birds. You've also got the chicken in there and the owls as well. You've also got your MDF letters in there, like live, love, laugh, that's in there. And you've also got word family. These are not stuck onto the hearts, by the way. You can take them off the hearts, so you can have the hearts on their own and just use the word family as well. Uh, 822378 is your item number. Uh, steampunk. This is the ones Catherine's using at the moment. We're using the cogs off the steampunk at the moment. So we're using the cogs that are just here. But you get so many more elements. You get this beautiful circle. Now, once again, I said it before, I, I can see a clock in this. I can see it, use it as a picture frame. The front comes away from the back as well. So the front does come away. So if you just want to use this on its own, you could use it, you could, oh, you could trace around it like the inner circles if you wanted to, around the edges. Uh, you've also got the back if you want. I could see this, if you're doing a room, you could use that as a cloud. You imagine doing the clouds out of your bit. Let me take this one off. Uh, so you've got the cloud. Which way would it go? Uh, that way. There's your cloud. So you can do lots of these on the wall if you wanted to. Absolutely stunning and then bring your other elements into it with your cogs. Absolutely, really get the mind working with this one. There is so much you can do. You've got that beautiful, stunning butterflies as well. You've got that butterfly, imagine that on the front, just that on the front of a, a beautiful meadow card with like an aperture in the middle, your butterfly in the middle and your aperture on the back. You could trace around the butterfly if you wanted. So you've got your clouds and then you've got your butterflies. Because it's MDF as well, you could use it to trace around. You've got all those cogs you could trace around as well if you wanted to. And look at the price. £12.99. £12.99 for all the elements that you are getting that I've now hid behind. <laughs> all the elements that you are getting for £12.99. Remember, it's on extended delivery. Uh, something to a little thing called Christmas and New Year. Uh, the 6th of January, it will be dispatched out to you. But we said it at the start of the show, once these have gone, they have gone. There won't be no more extended stock. There won't be more no extended delivery. Once they have gone, they have gone. So please do get in quick. 12 pounds and 99 pence, 954282 is your item number. And moving on down is your shadow boxes. Now you are getting two of the shadow boxes themselves. This is the one Catherine made in the earlier hour, uh, which is already dry. It's absolutely beautiful. So you could use them like this. You could use them like this for little bits of storage if you wanted to as well. Or, as we said, you could turn it upside down and use it as a little plinth to pop things on. Maybe you want to make a little winter scene on there. Maybe you're going to use some of your mediums to put on there. If you go for your one day special, you could put your little picket fences at the back and then build onto it if you wanted to. You could build a little house, put a little, if you've got a little house, a little Wendy house, you could put anything on there with a little picket fence, make a little garden if you want to. Imagine your little picket fence at the back and you know you can buy those small ceramic um, pots that look like big ceramic pots that you'd have in your garden. You could put them in, or maybe little tiny uh, succulents in if you wanted to display your succulents. Maybe you're getting into growing, you want to start your little plants off, you can have little, little daffodils, the tiny little daffodils on here in a tiny little orchard. Absolutely beautiful in what you can create uh, with your shadow boxes. So don't just see them as a shadow box, now see them as a plinth and you can create on top. You give, you, give your artwork a stage to perform upon. And you also get the plaque with home as well. So you're also getting, straighten up with you, uh, your little home in there. Absolutely stunning. Once again, £12.99, 383095 is your item number. Uh, Woodland Animals up next. You get so much in this. And so maybe you've already bought some of your elements. 
of your MDF. Uh, a quarter of the stock, a quarter of the stock of your woodland animals has already gone. You're getting four deers, two foxes, two of the owls, four of the hearts, and four of the tags as well. Once again, absolutely stunning. Once again, there's so much you can do. Imagine little owls with little googly eyes sitting there as a little key ring and his and hers key ring. Oh, that'd be nice. Little his and hers. You've also got the little foxes in there as well. You can have your initials on the little hearts in the belly. There is so much you can do. Really, what you need to do is really think outside the box with these. See, see them for what they are and then think ahead. What could I use them for? Well, I can see key rings out of all of these. Absolutely beautiful key rings. Nine pounds, nine, nine pence. Zero, seven, two, seven, five, five is your item number. Last but no means least, we have stencils. These have been extremely busy as well. Viva Decor stencils. You get your little woodland animals and you also get the tree of life as well. Dispatch from the 15th of January. You're getting both of these at both of them. So you get the little raccoon. You also get the fox and you also get those beautiful owls as well. Those owls are stunning. Imagine those owls on a child roller blind just dotted randomly with a few circles in the middle. Absolutely stunning for £9.98. 389136 is your item number. Uh, your crystal gel has been proving popular as well. Transparent, 70% of the stock has already gone. On your transparent, 70% of the stock for £9.50. You are getting an awful lot for your money here, 374533. And a quarter of the hologram stock has already gone as well. Your holographic, a quarter of the stock has already gone. So, we're coming back to demonstration. Okay, right. Sorry, I was just trying everything That's up right. there. <laughs> I've used, actually, let's add those two colours out, the midnight blue and the, is it midnight blue? And that green one, I think that's a gorgeous uh, colour. Oh, the night blue and, night blue and, and that one. Uh, turquoise. Turquoise. So what I've done is just gone over the top of the MDF plant and onto the cogs as well. So everything looks very much the same at the minute, a little bit of colour going on. Uh, now we're going to change this quite a lot. And I will use the heat gun in between just to dry things okay. off. Now the rusty that we've got is very, very orange. And you can see, if is I just bring this in. Rust? This is the orange rust. Okay. Now what you can do with this, there is texture in there but if you wanted to make it look even more rusty you can add sand into there as well you could mix oh. some sand into there so you could make it look even rougher it depends on the look you want but what you can also do with it is change the color so if i wanted to add a little bit of black paint into there i'm just going to see if i can drop a tiny little bit in fact i'm going to put it at the side and then mix it in rather than go straight in with it i'm using this bit of gray board as a palette find a brush so a little bit of paint just dab oh that oh in so now you can start so you can change a bit of brown a bit of black you know you, you can see the difference in color straight away yeah. there okay so we'll just we'll go quite dark with that one okay so you can experiment with it as well now because i'm not going to go straight into there for a minute i've got a tin can that it's just a, a tin can that's what it is it's got some chalk paint on it but with your rust then and again I would suggest you can use a paintbrush but stipple rather than paint or again if you want to use your little sponge and just stipple on there you'll start to build up the rust now the idea of this is I'm not going to do the whole thing rusty I'm just going to have rusty areas so I'm just using the sponge to start to build so maybe it's been stood in a bit of water Oh, yeah. And the bottom has gone rusty. So we'll have a little bit more of the rust around the bottom and you can start to build up. And again, layer this. It dries quite quickly, actually, if you don't put it on too thickly. You could apply it with a spatula if you wanted it thicker. But I'm just being quite gently. I don't want it to be overloaded. So I'm literally just sort of dabbing that away there. And because of the detail on the cam, can see how that's picking up quite nicely and you've still got the color in the middle yeah so we'll, we'll just i want to leave some of the green i've been experimenting on this i've got a bit of gray paint on there as well but that's fine so just start to build up i think we'll have some rust around the top as well and then i'm going to add some of the darker color in in a second as well and then i'm going to add some onto my plaque and we'll we'll see wh where we go with the plaque 
Okay, so... I can't see where this goes. Because if you like your... Do you know, rust is... <laughs> Rust, we used to buy things to get rid of rust. Now we buy things to make things look rusty. That's it's true. It's really strange, isn't it, when you think about it? You <laughs> know, so <laughs> your cogs and things, you know, if you want rusty cogs, this is going to be great for it. So I do want to leave some of that green showing. Now let's go in with a little bit of the darker just to start to build up the colour. And if you like that patina look, of course you could go with some of the green paint mixed into the orange. Or you can go over the top and stipple your paint directly over to the rust, which will change it again. Just try not to overload that. Well, that really does now look like a rusty old can. Like it does, just doesn't it? it like it does. It really does work well. So, and the more this dries, the better it will look. So there's, it's only very subtle, the difference in colour there. But it is there, and it adds more texture and makes it look more realistic. I think if you go straight with the orange and just leave it orange, it looks a little bit too orange. Yeah. It want, to me, it needs that difference in colour. Let's just pick a bit of the black up. You see, you can go directly over with your paint as well if you wanted to. So I'm going to have a bit of a play around with that when it's dry as well. Remember, you are getting both of these rusts. You're getting the rust and the rust orange for £15.99. 901600 is your item number for both the parts. See, they only sent me the orange one. I'm going to have to borrow that. They only sent me the orange the one. Do you need the darker one? Yeah, I didn't need to put the paint in there, but you can put your paint oh, in there you if you one? want. Shall we have a bit of that one as oh, well? Go on, I'm going to open it. What yeah, do? let's have a bit of that one. I'll put some on my palette, but you can see I'm going to leave the tin there for now because I'm going to add some. Um, but that really does look like a rusty tin. It does, doesn't it? So oh. I, do you know, I don't know what I had. That, did it have it had soup in it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at oh, that. now that's going to make a difference. Anything else you want from my counter? Um, well, mate, do for now. Let's I'm see how we get on. This fully. Okay, and of course you can mix these two together. Look at that. These these are really easy to use as well. Very very creamy. Take Catherine stuck a spatula. <laughs> so you, it won't be that orange. <laughs> now look look at these rusty cogs now. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. So and of course. A little bit of the orange, a little bit of the brown. Don't have the solid colours, do mix them together. But we can really work on this. Now, you might be thinking, oh yes, I like the, the rusty cogs, but I am actually going to put it onto the plaque as well because I'm going to do something else with the cogs okay. and bring the colour back out in another way. But it may be something we continue to do. 15 minutes left. Is that all we've got? Where have these two hours gone? Oh, I've got another show at eight. We're going you're, to you're on your own <laughs> at eight, though. I know, I'm presenting and guesting. It's just you at eight o'clock. It's just me. Just me. So, although it looks like I'm just going over everything with rust, which I am at the minute, I might leave a little bit of the colour showing through underneath. But we're going to change this again in the later show. Oh, okay. But I just want to show how easy it is to actually work. I'll be there, I'll be watching. With the rust. You might have to do without me in Good Evening tonight. No, that's all right, I can do I've Good got, Evening. I've got things to prep and finish no, in between the shows. You prep away. I'll give you a little plug. I'll, um, we'll talk about your one-day <laughs> special. Okay. Um, but no, it's all right. We'll, uh, I'll let you off for not coming through. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a paintbrush just in between there, just to... Now, this is where, if and I'm terrible at this. You know when we're here and we're demonstrating and we don't have time to clean things out very well? And, let them dry, huh? and they go hard. This is great because now you can get into all those little areas. Now you've got a stippling brush. Yeah, it's a stippling brush now, look. See, if I'd really thought about it, I could have just rusted up the plat before putting the cogs on. Well, but I am going to change it. It's, it doesn't matter because I'm going to bring some more colour into this again later. But look at that rust plaque. Now, it really does look like a bit of like a metal. It's better in the... It sounds bad, but it's better in the studio than it is coming through on your TV screens. It really does look like an old rusty metal plaque. It does, and it dries very quickly as well, or it's drying very quickly on here because I'm not, I'm not putting an awful lot of thickness on there. Can you force dry this, or would you, you leave can, it to dry naturally? You can, you can. Uh, you could heat this. I'm a great believer in letting things to dry on their own if you can let them. I know we're impatient. Sometimes you can over dry, that you can overheat things off. You know, just. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to let them dry naturally rather than force it. But you could do if you're really impatient. You can, and I'm having to do that. You know, just with the, with the demonstration. So there we go. Where's the sponge? Let's just scrape a little bit more of that in. I'm just going to add a little bit more 
orange there. And then I'm going to let this dry ready for eight o'clock. Okay. And we'll work with some other products on there later. Look so that. I think that looks that looks rather rusty now, doesn't it? It does. I think we're there with that. Okay. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back to that later. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a minute? Um, okay. Go on then. Okay, I'll I'll uh, actually, no? I'm all right, I think. Actually. All right? Yeah, okay. I think we might just buff up the patina wax next because we, we've got so many things sort of waiting to be... Waiting so you can see... <laughs> so now that's dried, I'm just going to give it a really... A really good polish up with that cloth and it will just put a very nice sheen on there. Can you see the sheen coming through it? It's there. Can you see now yeah, how it's starting that. to... It's got that really nice satin sort of finish to it and the more you buff it, the better that will look. So with the patina wax, if you want a very streaky look, then you can let the wax dry a little bit more before wiping it off. What I did there was apply the different oh, wow. colours and kind of wipe them off quite quickly to blend them because I didn't want them too bright. That would look nice with a candle in the top. It would look nice with a candle in the top. And let, but the, let the wax just trickle down. But that, it's got a really lovely sheen on it now. It it's a really effect, a really nice effect on there. And then on the front, of course, we use the paint, the Viva Decor paint to bring out the detail in the uh, the mould there and onto the bottle as well. It's very Le Blanc. It is actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to throw it out there. <laughs> I'm going to throw that name and in. I, I did make a little tag that's that. also got the, uh, which I'm going to tie around the top. There's still work to do on this bottle. We're just going to keep trimming it up and making it, it look right. pretty. It now then, Le let's have a look. Because we've got so many different projects on the go. How's the jar getting on? Well, I, was just, I was just having a little look. We're not fully dried yet. We're not fully dry, but you can see now, this has now got two layers. Now you can really see that holographic glitter coming through, yeah, can't you? So by eight o'clock, that should be dry. And I think two coats will be enough. For anybody that missed it earlier, it literally was take it from the jar and stipple on with a sponge. Remember the holographic now is 70% gone. So if you want to go for this look, your holographic is now 70% gone as well. Nine pounds and 50 pence is what you're paying. 374533 is your item number. Now, I just want to show you a couple more things that we're extremely busy on as well that I don't want you to miss out on. Uh, stencils were busy on as well. Your stencils are very, very busy. So you are getting all the stencils that you see there. So you get your woodland animals. So you're getting your fox, your raccoon, and your two owls. And you're also getting that tree of life as well. And um, they're good sized stencils as well, all for nine pounds and 98 pence. What else is a very good deal is your one day special. Your one day special is everything that you see on the board in front of me, plus more as well. With this, you have got four main projects, but you can really break these down and use them for different projects. So maybe you want to use them uh, for your front of your cards. Maybe you want to use them as embellishments if you want. As we've got the owls, you really can go to town. So this is using chalk paint that we've used there for your owls. You've got the holes in them as well, so you can stack them if you want and hang them or you've also got the hearts in there that you can also stack as well so you could have a heart and then an owl and then another heart and an owl and another heart and an owl you i'm thinking these for for like babies rooms newborn babies i'm thinking for brand new homes flying the nest leaving the coop okay you got that chicken on there as well but in the kitchens uh, we're beautiful for in the kitchen as well. Uh, £24.96. It is on extended delivery to the 6th of January due to Christmas and New Year. 822378 is your item number. Uh, Steampunk has been extremely busy this hour as well. 954282 is your item number. £12.99. This is the elements that Catherine's using from the cogs. This is where we're getting the cogs from. You also got that beautiful butterfly in there as well and you also get those beautiful circles that are interlocked and you can do as you please with them there is absolutely loads you can do 12 pounds and 99 pence shadow boxes um you've asked to see them so we're going to show you them uh, shadow boxes and also your plaque for your home as well that really just show that plaque off really well uh, so if your name's uh, harriet or henry you got henry loves me ah oh, <laughs> nice um, you've also got Obviously, it does spell home, but you could break it down if you wanted to. Uh, you've got two shadow boxes in there as well, all for £12.99. 
One other thing, can we show the woodland animals? Because these have been really busy. I'm loving these woodland animals. Uh, 072755 is your item number, nine pounds and 99 pence. You get your four deers, well, two facing either way, two foxes, two owls, four hearts, and also your four tags as well. A third of the stock has already gone, nine pounds and 99 pence. And everything we talk about during these hour, once it is gone, it has gone. That goes for the MDF and also for the Viva Decor as well. Once it's gone, we won't be bringing it back on extended delivery. It's all the stock we can get. So once it's gone, it has gone gone okay now then i did say i'd bring this back at eight but i think we've got a little bit of time haven't we so i'm using the paints again the viva decor paints the night blue pea uh, green. the pea green and which we haven't Tur used so far and the turquoise, turquoise again uh, that you love that turquoise, i, I don't love you? those so what i've done is put the tiniest little bit on my glass mat and i'm using quite an old stiff brush again it's not you know it's just not a great brush but i use these are great for stippling and i'm going to start to bring a bit of color back into these cogs Okay, so bring in a bit of the green in, just so it's going to be the back plate that looks more rusty. This is going to give me kind of a more of a patina look. So just also bring like in that in there. The ocean. It's like that ocean look that you found it. I think these colours really lend themselves well to the ocean and the sea. And they, they do. In fact, isn't the name of that set of paints something to do with the ocean? Ocean Dreams. Ocean Dreams. See what I'm just going to get a little bit more of the pea green. Seamless link. <laughs> <laughs> there's such a lot in each pot as well goes a long long way so because I'm using these together wet they're just going to sort of blend and mix so maybe if we want a little bit more green in this cog here then we'll go with that okay I'm going to have to use the heat gun on this one just briefly because I want to put some of the Inca gold on here as well which oh, okay. is really can bring the detail out I'm liking the pea green now, look. That pea green is, you look at it in the bottle and you think, oh, what am I going to use with that? <laughs> but when you actually put it out. Yeah. And then if you wanted to add some more of the rust on that, and you know, you could, you could mix it all in. As I say, you can mix the paints into the rust. You can apply them together. So I'll just give this a little bit of a blast. Can you see, I don't know if we're picking it up. I, don't know, I might have to hold it a little bit closer to the front camera in a minute. But you can see the texture coming through in that rust now. Now yeah. it's drying. So again, it's a little bit like the crystal gel. If you apply, don't go too thickly straight away. Go with one thing cut and then build it if you want it to look rusty. But if you've got a little bit of sand, sharp sand or something like that, a builder's sand, uh, just mix it in. Oh, that'd be, I think that and would, you, can, you can make it look much more sort of granular. OK, so we'll just blast that off. So those colours are quite dull still. But what we're going to do, we're going to bring in Let's have a little bit of this one, which is... The more is you leave that rust, the more it genuinely looks like rust. Yeah, it, it does. It is amazing. This is, this is the gold, the gold, the brown gold, I think it is. And I'm just going to add a little bit of... This is one of the um, patinas, the Inca gold. So oh, let's add a little bit of that on there. Gold. We'll bring the details just up. Just dotting that on. Uh, these are on a pick and mix. Uh, they're all on the they're all on the website. Uh, there's quite a load. There's quite a lot to choose from as well. For twelve pounds and fifty eight pence, you get any two of these. If you had to move to a desert island, Catherine, you could only pick two. <laughs> Which two colours would the two you colour, choose? Oh, I think it'd be the two I've got at the minute. Actually, the the is this patina, Turquoise. Turquoise. the turquoise and the brown gold. Turquoise and brown gold. Which I'm added the turquoise now. Look, oh, this oh, is absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful and again when this is properly dried buff it up really buff it up and it will give that really nice sheen depends on the look you want but and now because i'm just dabbing that with my finger it's picking up the texture from the rust underneath as well you know it's picking up those areas but i can see that for like a um sort of a, a boy's door it would be brilliant plaque. for a boys it would yeah exactly a bedroom door personal you can easily personalize it oh, or a shared door, what workshop. about the the man shared yeah man workshop cave. um while that's just trying off a second i'm going to add a little bit of this to the tin can as well because obviously the wax works on so many different surfaces and not only am i going over where i've rusted but i'm going to go on some other areas as well this is beautiful do you know you can add this to all sorts of surfaces like acrylic as well okay yeah, yeah if you've got acrylic uh, you know the acrylic door handles yeah you could color them 
Uh, oh. You can add the patine. You can add all sorts of the the different Viva Decor oh, mediums to things. That. Yeah, yeah. You can add it to all sorts. Your card, your paper. You can paint with it as well. Polymer clay, one of my favourite things. Oh, I suppose you can mix it uh, in with the polymer clay. I've got some polymer clay here. Actually, I might have to see if I can do something with that. I'm just going to go with a little bit of the patina over the top as well. The turquoise one. I love these colours. Forget for this. If you're afraid of putting too much on, a good idea is just to pick some up with your finger and dab it onto your glass mat and that sort of take, if you want it just very, very soft, if you don't want too much on there, it's just pick a bit of colour out there as well. Blending those colours together works beautifully. Let's see if we can buff this one up a little bit. Look at that. I think we're nearly there with the jar. Nearly there. It's nearly dried. The jar. You've still got that bit around the rim, but you can see the main, the main body of it is nearly done. Uh, that's the Viva Decor Crystal Gels, nine pounds and fifty pence. Uh, three quarters of the transparent now has already gone. Uh, we're very, very busy for the transparent. We got a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Oh, I'm just adding a bit more of this there. In fact. Yeah, they're leaving me to it at 8 o'clock, you know. I know, Catherine's all on her own at 8 o'clock. Yeah, uh, So please do stick around. Uh, keep a company. You've got myself next for Good Evening Achanda on my own. Just me. <laughs> uh, there's, only, there's only me and you here, yeah. I know! I know! This is it. Oh, and obviously all the people in yeah. our ears and floor. Um, but these, well, these two are going home in my ear shortly as well. And it really will be just me and, me and you. Ah, oh, look at and this. And Molly's about. Look how that's buffing up now. Look at the sheen on there. That is Look at really that. nice, isn't it? Look at that, I love it, I love it. This is my new pen pot, my new oh, paintbrush pot or pen pot. Yeah, I, I save so many tinker. I eat a lot of soup. Tin cans and <laughs> bottles, I see, I see a theme coming on. <laughs> I eat a lot of soup and Are drink a lot of brandy, like a apparently. Are <laughs> like, from, from an old western, you just eat Eat stuff out of a can, <laughs> swig from the bottle. Oh, so we've gone from a plane. Originally, of course, that would have looked like that. <laughs> look at that now. <laughs> <And then laughs> yeah, this, this don't look right here, does it, to be fair? Let's move that down here. Oh, we've got 15 oh. seconds. One day special. The details are on the screen. 288378 is your item number. Uh, don't go anywhere. Catherine will be back on her own at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Poor if she's me. not well, and I'll see you in a minute. Bye.